Hey friends, it's that time of the year. As you can see, it's getting brighter outside. More of us are outside running and shin splints are becoming an issue for many athletes or will be as the running season progresses. So I'm gonna show you one of my favorite ways to reduce your shin splints using a lacrosse ball. Very simply, we're gonna sit down, bring the foot up next to us, and we're gonna take on the outside of that shin bone, the lacrosse ball and roll it up and down. So I change the other angle, you'll get a better look. Don't mind the pasty white legs, it's been winter. And we're going to take that across. We're going to start up in this little nook below the knee, rolling down and coming back up. So we want to keep a nice pressure as we roll through that area. And we want to do a couple passes up and down the knee or up and down the shin, just like so. After a couple passes, what we're going to do is we're going to know where some of those tender areas are. Right now for me, right about in the middle here, I got a nice tender area. I'm going to keep some pressure on it. And from here, I'm going to bring my toes up and down, pointing and flexing that ankle. I'm going to change the position of the ball a little bit, pressure down, point and flex, point and flex, bring it down a little further, point and flex, point and flex. Then I'm going to go back to rolling again. Go back to rolling, see if those tender areas have changed. Now it seems like it's moved a little bit more laterally, a little from more from here off to the outside here. So now I'm going to hit it from the outside coming in. And same thing, point and flex. As I'm doing this, the movement of my ankle is causing that muscle to move up and down inside of my skin. And as that muscle is moving inside my skin, that ball is keeping a steady pressure on it. So it's tacking it down and allowing that tissue to floss underneath it, just like a piece of dental floss, back and forth. And now I'm gonna hit the ankle at a different position. I'm actually gonna support the ankle up and go through my rolling again this way. Any kind of hard ball will work well. Golf ball will be a little smaller surface area, so it'll get in a little bit deeper. Soft ball, baseball can work as well. You wanna stay away from the softer balls, like a tennis ball or a handball. Lacrosse balls are my favorite, simply because this next part of what we're gonna do. I'm gonna find those tender areas, press the ball in, Twist and release. Screwing and unscrewing. Twisting that fascia in and out. So if you can see, as I do this, all that skin is spinning. All that connective tissue underneath it is twisting up and untwisting. So I'm getting stretching of the connective tissue around the surface of that muscle. It's giving that muscle more space for it to move and groove, for it to slide and glide. Just find some tender areas, twist it around with pressure down on top, and then going back again and rolling that dough out. And that feels significantly better. I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm gonna point that foot as far as I can. It's a nice straight line here. Roll up and down it. See where there are some tender areas, if there are any. It's feeling pretty good in this spot. If there are some, I'm gonna tack them down from this position. Point and flex. Ooh, good little release there if you heard that little click. Ooh, there's again. Excellent. Go back to my roll on it. Get your roll on. And again, find some little tender areas that are still existing. Compress and twist. Compress and twist. Wind up all that connective tissue and unwind it. You're not trying to give yourself an Indian burn. Just trying to get that skin to smear and twist. So it'll twist itself up. And done that, you can put the pasty white legs away and go out for a run. Hope that makes your shins feel a little bit better. Enjoy. Remember to like subscribe and share to any runners that you may have and your friends and family and follow us for more information on how you can make yourself feel your best.